Good morning. Getting up for sunrise has become a little bit more of a norm for me as I get back into work routine and I'm trying to get a bit more structure back in my life. Getting back into paramedics I think has been so good for me and I've been doing a few shifts now. I got through the training course and I actually have a shift this afternoon which is my first one for over a week. Some things have changed. I want to take you guys along with me but first I've got to exercise this doggo. Do not ask me how I waited till I was 27 to start drinking coffee. It is the best way to start a day, especially after some good exercise with my bud here. A few of you will recognize where we are. We are back in Newcastle. I was lucky enough to be able to escape Sydney because Sydney has gone back into lockdown. Um, unfortunately, COVID has spiked there again. I got out of Sydney a couple of weeks ago. I wanna talk more about that in this video as well as just how it's been living in the van with Oki, going back to work, you know, how it's kind of affected my mental health and just generally the logistics of all getting back into like a more of a normal job. I know in the last video I threw at you, you know, I, I cut all the hair off and I'm still adjusting to that myself. However, the changes have to continue because we have just been given a bulletin essentially saying that every paramedic in New South Wales ambulance has to now be clean shaven because this new strain of COVID, the masks aren't doing an adequate seal when you've got facial hair. So as much as I don't want to clean shave and I haven't clean shaved for eight years, I think, it's happening today. I'm doing it for you, for protecting everyone else. Okay, here goes. Remember, this is for you. Well, this will take a little bit of getting used to for me. Alrighty, I've got to head to shift, drop Oki off on the way. I'll catch you guys in a bit. So it's half past 12 in the morning. I just picked up Oki and finished what ended up being a 12 and a half hour shift. Because I got up so early this morning, I'm pretty bloody cooked at the moment. It's time for a sleep in. Morning, buddy. Well, I managed to sleep in till after 9.30 this morning, which is actually pretty good for me and should set me up for the rest of the day. Before I get into it, I wanna take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know I've worked with BetterHelp in the past and it really suits me because I've been utilizing the platform for over three months to do online therapy weekly and I've found it's been so helpful for me that it, I love that they're sponsoring me because it gives me a chance 
to share more of it with you. Last time, a lot of you signed up and I got a lot of messages from everyone saying how grateful they were because they were able to access mental health professionals straight away. You can generally start communicating within 48 hours. That is massive because the unfortunate fact is at the moment with COVID and all the other crazy shit that's going on in the world, unfortunately, local mental health professionals are just overwhelmed and a lot of people are finding that they can't get in to see a therapist for months in advance. So. This is where BetterHelp comes in and I think it should be normalized to start seeing a therapist and a lot more people should be utilizing it. So if you don't know what BetterHelp is, BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. The process for signing up for BetterHelp is super easy and BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed health professional therapist. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 15,000 plus counselor network. And if for any reason you get matched with a counselor that you're just not meshing with, it is super easy to change counselors and it's also free to do so. The BetterHelp service is available for clients worldwide, which is huge if you're like me and you don't stay in one location a lot. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't have to ever sit in an uncomfortable waiting room. It is more affordable than traditional offline counseling and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today, and so do I. It is so important to prioritize your mental health. If you are considering giving BetterHelp a go, go to betterhelp.com forward slash Maxinoki, that's help, H-E-L-P, and they will give you 10% off for your first month. I truly think that this is something that can be of benefit to you guys. It's okay not to be okay, but we all deserve to be feeling good. This smoothie I've started making is like chocolate mousse. Have a look at that. Tonight, I have a 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. shift, so another 12 hour, but this time all night shift. I'm not 100% sure why I put my name down for it because I'm casual and I can choose what shifts I do. But in between the shifts, I'm trying to maintain some semblance of normal life. So I've just been to the gym. I took Oki for a run and now I've stocked up with some groceries so I can... Because one of the things with shift work is you can tend to eat really unhealthily on shift if you don't pre-prepare. So stocked up on some groceries and yeah, going to try and be ready for it. It is now almost 2 p.m. and I'm going to jump back into bed to try and sleep for about two or three hours before the night shift to help get me through it. And I've held off having a coffee. My coffee's going to be when I wake up at around 5.30 p.m. So it's just before 6 p.m. and that was my alarm to get up because night shift starts in a bit over half an hour. So I gotta get ready and get going. Drop Ciroc off on the way.
well, running out of water wasn't part of the plan, but actually works out quite well because it's next to one of my favorite walks where I fill up, which is over here. Night shift actually wasn't too bad last night. However, I generally, after a night shift, like to get everything organized. So having full tanks of water is a good start. I also need to do a load of washing. And yeah, just a whole lot of life admin that sets me up for my days off. Because at the moment, I'm really only trying to do like two shifts a week with paramedics because I want to be able to spend a lot of time with Oki and don't want too much time away from him. And it's just a really nice way to ease in. My favorite place to be is right here. Not thinking about what brings me down, yeah. My favorite way to be without fear is in the even though it's the middle of winter here, it's actually 21 degrees today and I think Oki's making the most of it. We're about two minutes into our walk. Good morning. Well, the day after I try and get back to normal routine, so I'm up early again. Aki, come on. Decided to mix it up and change beaches. This one isn't too bad either. Seriously, what is Newcastle? I've got pretty much this whole beach to myself. It is always difficult to get up for sunrise, but every time, once I'm up, I don't regret it. And I know I'm so fortunate to have somewhere as beautiful as this to take Oki for a walk or a run. He's having the time of his life. I wanted to say a huge thank you all for sticking with me as I've been so inconsistent. I know I'm pretty much the worst social media influencer out there. I post like once a month on here, once a month on Instagram. But I've needed that time away and I'll probably continue to need that time away for at least a couple more months. I really appreciate you all. Ock appreciates you too. Ock, don't you? Say thank you. I just wanted to say that I am feeling good. I obviously still have my down moments, down days. This guy cheers me up a lot and I'm just doing everything I can to continue to be happy and just to make the most out of life at the moment. Well, at least it doesn't seem like it's gonna to take too long for my facial hair to grow back in between shifts. I am excited because I am about to go see my brother and his fam. I have been allowing kind of that a bit over two weeks since I left Sydney, that period, just to be safe. I've been staying away from the young kids in the fam, so I'm excited to go give them a big hug. Hello. Are you not sick anymore? <laughs> No, I'm not sick anymore. Look guys, I, I've always known Max has looked up to me, but I can't help but noticing his hit next level with his haircut beard combination that he's currently got. I think you'll notice it's very similar to what I've been rocking for, hmm, a few years now. What do you reckon, Max? 
Yeah, but ironically, I had to do this look. You choose to do this look. Just kidding, mate. You look good. You oh, do look good. Cheers, bro. <laughs> and <laughs> while you're in here, I actually haven't shown anyone else, but did you notice uh, the van's looking pretty good too? Yeah, mate. It's clean. It's... No, no, this. Oh. I did the doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Looks awesome. <laughs> no, they seriously do look really good. I screwed up the gap across the top a bit there, but I'm going to do a bit of no more gaps there. What do you mean? Uh... Oh yeah, I saw the set. I think. Oh, oh yeah, jeez, you're a perfectionist, mate. So one of the other reasons that I was excited to get here, other than obviously to see the family, which I am excited about, <laughs> but I had a couple of deliveries come in. So these parts, I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to like make this look a bit better, especially because of the tape and it looks shit. I don't know how they're going about their day-to-day -day chores and just getting stuff done with the thought that they haven't been done yet, Max. Like you, jeez, you're making it tough for them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's hard for me, <laughs> me to deal with. He's hard for me to deal with. <laughs> but I actually tried to clad those pieces as well with the same shiplap as the roof. But it, it just doesn't work. It's all on angles. It doesn't line up. It doesn't look perfect. So instead, I got some of the car builders. It's full-way stretch carpet. They sent me some. So that ideally is going to stretch four ways and go over it and give it kind of a finished look on the edge and then also i just ordered 200 bucks worth of fake plants to finally give Jeez. a bit of a aesthetic to the van yeah it'll look nice yeah. i mean you landscape yourself why not landscape manscape why not do it to your van i guess <laughs> come on mate i haven't seen anyway <laughs> 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 I'm just, what? I don't know, just, just talk about the plants. So, that's actually a funny aside. Do you know Manscaped, the products? They did offer to sponsor me to do the, uh, you know, manscaping package. They saw you were obviously in need of their help. Yeah, anyway, I turn it down. Just so you know, I turn a lot of sponsorships down. So if you see I do one, it's because I believe in the company. N that's nothing against manscaping. I just wasn't ready to do that kind of ad. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I manscape. Landscaping instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yep, okay. Don't break into this van, guys, because, <laughs> yeah. As a lot of you know, I tried with real plants, and they, it, I'm guessing you realise that they didn't survive because it's no longer in here. So hopefully these ones, they're, they're meant to be, look very realistic. You got some ivy there? Oh, that's not quite what I was picturing, okay. So this is actually, this is an agave, which Lee and I visited agave fields and went to tequila in Mexico. So I think that's a really nice one to go in the doorway. I think this is like native moss. This one. I'm not going to make you watch us go through all this, but Tom <laughs> does have a good eye for design. <laughs> and he does have good taste, as you can tell, with the... Uh... Okay, so this is a little bit more complicated than I imagined, and the, tr the truth is, I've just got here, I want to spend some time with the family. I want to wrap this video up here and just get it up for you guys in the next couple of days because I know it's been a long time. Thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and get, this has given you some insight of what it's like for me working in the van, living with Oki. I guess the main thing I want to say is that I am really enjoying it, and I'm... <laughs> I'm ex like I am excited about the future and where this kind of path's going. So, yeah, nice. Yeah, Anything you want to add? I'd just love to say, yeah, we're happy to have Max back. We're all very proud of him. It seriously has been a massive effort doing all that study to be well and truly back, ready to be on the road for paramedic. And um, yeah, no, just good to have him back. And thanks for. Um, being so invested in what my brother does because it really helps him through some tricky times and yeah, thanks everyone. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait for this car to go past. <laughs> Every time. There's never traffic on this road unless you're filming, did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> oh Rachel and I film a fair oh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, do you have anything to add? Oh, I just, <clears throat> I just think you're cruel, mate. People are already hanging for these corner, these edge bits. You've kept them waiting so long that they can't go on, and now you're going to make them wait for this as well. You just said, I swear, like two scenes ago, you said you you were about to show us this done, and now you're saying like maybe within a month. Come on, man. Come on.
But no, nah, he's a busy guy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a busy guy. He does paramedic stuff now. I'm, and, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I want to spend some time with your kids. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, jeez. Sorry, mate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know where to pick it back up. Car again. See, I told you. <laughs> it's a fact of life. You go to film, car comes yeah, past. Every time, mate. Tell me that. Maybe just start with showing Oki. Everyone loves seeing Oki first and then come to me. Yeah.